For years, nay, decades, there has been one question that humanity has been asking itself. One debate that has set friendships ablaze, torn families asunder. But I was never one for debating, no. I am here to get answers, to once and for all, definitively prove with science the answer to this question. One billion lions versus every Pokemon starts right now. So, uh, if you haven't been on Twitter in the past, I don't know how long, every few months for some reason, one uh, debate keeps cropping up. And that is, who would win in a fight? One billion lions or one of every single Pokemon? Now, a lot of people have their opinions, and a lot of people are wrong in their opinions, but today I am going to prove using the scientific method which is superior. So, as you may remember from your high school science classes, your middle school science classes, whatever science classes, the scientific method always starts with a hypothesis. And so here, today, I am hypothesizing that... One billion lions will trounce every Pokemon, slaughter them. It won't even be close. But a hypothesis is nothing without a way to test it. And so that is what we will begin doing here today. So, the next step in the scientific method, lay out your methods. And, as you can see, since we are here in uh, the lovely Pokemon Ultra Sun, uh, you may remember there is a lot of text at the beginning of this game, so uh, as I explain the rules, I'm going to go through here and uh, breeze through all the text and stuff. Um, so, in order to uh, de definitively, what am I supposed to do? I'm already lost. Already lost. I think I went the wrong way. In order to definitively find out which uh, group would win in a fight, the only way to prove that is to pit them against each other. And I intend to do that here today in only the most accurate way possible. Now, you may be saying, how can you possibly pit one billion lions against every Pokemon in a Pokemon game? There ain't no lions in Pokemon. And you would be right. There are no ordinary lions in Pokemon. But, this is where I segue <laughs> into the part where we choose our starters that I mistimed. Okay, there's too much text. There's too... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So, these three here that you just saw, they may appear to be uh, a Rowlet, a Litten, and a Popplio, but you would be incorrect in that assumption. You would be incorrect. I'm trying to stall here so I can segue. I'm trying to stall best I can. Okay, okay. I guess also some ground rules in case you haven't noticed. Uh, if you're here for the story of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, which I've gone on record as saying is one of the best in the franchise, but if that's what you're here for, I recommend you take off, uh, because we will not be doing any of that. We are not here for story, we are not here for entertainment, we are here for science, and we are here for answers. Uh, and so as I was saying, how am I gonna ever get, uh, one billion lions into this here game, you know? There's no, there's no lions. God, there's so much text. There is so much text. There are no lions in Pokemon, but we can get pretty freaking close. Kukui, shut your mouth and just give me the big reveal. Here, there are no lions in Pokemon, but we can get pretty close. That's right. We've got three, uh, three Litleo here. Now you may be, uh, you may be wondering. It doesn't matter which one we pick. They are literally all Litleo. You may be wondering, well, a Litleo and a Lion, those aren't the same thing. Lions can't breathe fire or anything like that. And that is correct. Which is why the Litleo slash Pyroar that I will be using in this game will not breathe fire either. In fact, they will not be allowed to learn any move that a Lion could not conceivably do. Which basically is limited to the following moves. Scratch, Bite, and or Crunch. Tackle and or takedown, roar. That is it. That is all we get for the uh, the whole series. If you guys can think of other moves 
that lions could conceivably do doesn't have to be one that litleo slash pyroar can learn because remember these are not litleo these are not pyroars these are uh these are lions straight up lions uh, also i was thinking uh of using just a random random name generator to come up with these names because i do want to have some fun have some names for these lions uh because as you will soon see uh they won't be around too long and um and you know uh, i want to have some uh, some emotional attachment to them before they get ripped away uh we've got norman is the random name that this came up with so we're going with norman for our first uh first lion here so we got norman up in here norman's been added to our party that is nice that is nice um so rule number one these uh the litleo slash lions cannot uh cannot learn any moves that a lion could not do. Uh, rule number two, we're playing with permadeath. Anytime a Litleo gets killed, it is released, it is gone, it is dead, it is replaced with another one. And as you can see, we've got a little lion counter down there. Uh, currently, we, we are at three lions. As you will see, I preloaded two lions into the party. We've got a third one that we just got as our starter. And the reason we start with three is because I have uh, done some research and apparently traditionally lions hunt in packs of three don't know if that's accurate that was literally the first Google thing that came up that's what I'm going with so our party at any given time will consist always of three litleo slash pyroar and that is it that is all we get what is what do you I wasn't reading what we we're supposed to do um so if you look here Ah. There were supposed to be two more lions here. <laughs> I will be right back. So as I was saying, and so perfectly, uh, so perfectly planned out, as you can see, I have preloaded the party with two lions. And also while I was at it, went ahead and fixed up Norman, so they are all uh, legal. They're all legal to be used. Uh, in this in this thing. So first of all, you'll see they all have neutral natures because uh, The personality of a lion I presume doesn't drastically affect uh, how fast it can move or whatever uh, So I changed it everyone's hardy nature. Uh, I think lions are pretty hardy I think that makes sense. They all got a nerve because it basically doesn't do anything and lions don't have abilities so these guys uh, I don't think I could set them to not have any ability. I'll check that. I might be able to do that, in which case I'll fix that. Um, but we've got Tackle, we've got Bite, we've got Scratch, and we've got Roar. The only legal moves up in here. Uh, so we've got Norman has that. We've got Leo, same exact thing. We've got Lily, same exact thing. Now they do have random IVs. Uh, so their stats, you see, may differ slightly. Um, but... That's the loadout we're going for every lion. Once a lion dies, we'll go get an basically identical one and uh, up the tally and keep going. If that tally gets higher than 1 billion, then the Pokemon win. But if we can kill one of every Pokemon before that tally gets to 1 billion, then the lions win. Now you might be also asking yourself, well... Uh, sure, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Also, the reason I chose Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, famously, Sword and Shield doesn't have every Pokemon in it. I don't want to get... That's a whole other debate that I might be testing out later. Don't know how I could scientifically do anything with that. Um, but, uh, you may... This game has most of the Pokemon, and I've proven you can beat all of Sword and Shield with a Squirrel, so, you know, how good could they really be? But... Uh, what was I saying? Right, right, right. Uh, the main game of this game, you won't find every single Pokemon in the wild. You know, Arceus ain't gonna show up in this game. Uh, and that's where, uh, another little wrinkle in this year challenge comes in. If we run into the grass here, you may, uh, notice something interesting. It has been randomized, but it has been randomized in a very special way. Such that every Pokemon is guaranteed to show up at least once. 
before they double dip and do something else. So somewhere in this game, theoretically, uh, is at least one of every single Pokemon up through Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So we will find them, we will kill them, and then uh, to keep track, they'll be registered as like seen in the Pokedex. Uh, and so once we, because I'll kill everything I see, once every single Pokemon has been registered as seen and therefore killed, the challenge is over. Uh, unless the tally gets to one billion first, which it won't. Um, so let's not dilly-dally any longer. Also, this is a doozy of a first, uh, first battle. Okay, okay, he's not going for fighting moves. That's fine. That's fine. Um, okay, he's going for fighting moves. We might be down a lion already. Oh, a crit. Oh, Norman! No! Okay. Okay, we already lost Norman. We already lost Norman, but that is fine. That is fine. So once I add another line into the party, uh, we'll set that tally up to four. In fact, I might just cut again and get another one in there. I might just do that. All right. All right. So not a great first battle. We already are down one line, but that's fine. That's fine. Because we've got... Uh, still a billion save four left. Uh, I'm not going to do the care because that seems like cheating. But we got, we got Leo here. We got Lily here. Look at that. Look at that. Actually, you know what I might do? Just for, uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I can't do that. I can't do that. I was about to say I'll just go heal up with, uh, with our mom or something. Uh, and just pretend Norman is a new guy. Um, but I can't do that because of another rule that I have yet to mention. And that is that, uh, you know, in the Pokemon world, you get hurt, you go see Nurse Joy, you get a potion, magically, you're good. You get killed, revive, magically, you're good. Lions don't have that advantage. If a lion gets hurt, sure, you can, like, treat the wound and it'll heal eventually. But uh, no, no magic potion is going to get them back to full health like that so that is why in throughout this whole series i will not be allowed to use any pokemon centers none none i might um like just grab some already healed up lines from the pc and do that just for a respawn point so i don't have to run across the whole region every time i white out um but i'm not allowed to heal my guys with pokemon centers at all i am not allowed potions at all no status healing items, no berries, no X items. If it don't exist in real life, then I can't use it on my lions. Um, I believe that those are all the rules. The full list will be in the description down below. Uh, and if you guys can think of anything else to make the uh, the series more accurate, then I, uh, I would love to hear it. But uh, those are the rules we are going to be rocking out with for this series. Uh, oh yeah, I randomized items too. <laughs> so, what do we got in this grass? I think a lot of this game, you know, not so much, uh, focused on, like, you know, progressing the story and all that. A lot of times we're gonna have to, uh, just go into the grass. I have a log in case we need to look it up, but just go somewhere, kill everything in the wild there, and then move on. Whoa! Look at that. Meryl, we're checking it off the list right here dude i the part i'm looking forward to most about this is when we run into like an arceus or something because everyone's always like how are a billion lions gonna kill a god literally i'm about to show you i'm literally gonna show you in who knows how many episodes eventually i will show you and it won't be that hard i presume um so i'm gonna not normally i would spend a lot of time in the grass killing everything checking them off the list but um we don't have access to the pc yet uh which will make this whole thing a lot easier um so i'm gonna kind of uh breeze ahead until we can get to the pc i'm gonna load up the pc with a bunch of lions and then uh then we're gonna get in there 
But for now, we're gonna breeze through here. We got Hal. Talking to his, uh, his lion. Not a lion. A little seal that my lion is gonna eat in a second here. And we are just... Why does it not let me skip the text immediately? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Normally, I wouldn't be too upset. Yo, did you just heal my Pokemon? You about to battle me? Alright, hold on. If Hop just healed my Pokemon... We gotta do some, uh... Well, first of all, Norman... Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. Because every lion is identical, so it doesn't necessarily matter if I went and got a new lion or Norman's just back. So Lily had some damage, Norman was dead. I'm gonna just consider them both, for the sake of this, dead. And I'm gonna up the lion counter to five, right off the bat. There we go. So we're just gonna pretend Lily and Norman, brand new lions... Uh, normally I will get a legit new line, and maybe in between episodes I'll re-randomize their IVs. So they are like completely different guys, but I don't think it really matters too much. You gonna kill Norman again? No, Norman's fine. Norman's fine. Yo, this guy's level- oh, how much did I increase the trainer's levels by? That's another important question. Uh, that I don't remember. I don't- Ooh! Norman with the crit! Look at that. Look at that. Alright, so Norman took a little damage. That won't be able to be healed, but that's fine. It's okay. That is alright. There we go. Look. First trainer battle already done. He's going to be a breeze. A breeze, I tell you. All right, so this first episode might be a little slow, but we're just getting our bearings, getting our uh, stuff uh, together. I'm trying to think if there's more rules I can explain uh, in the meantime. I don't think so. If there's anything you guys can think of to make this more accurate, uh, please, please do enlighten me. Uh, because I want this to be the definitive anytime someone uh, on Twitter is like, Oh, the Pokemon would win! Send them to this send them to this playlist, and I want there to be not a shadow of a doubt in anyone's mind that the Lions will be victorious. Because we proved it with science. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I'll go introduce myself. I don't remember who I'm introducing myself to. It's kind of a shame, because um, I do really like the story of this game. Mostly just Lily, if you remember from the... Uh, the best rivals video I made uh, She is the best rival and she's not even technically a rival So it does pain me to gloss over Literally every piece of dialogue in this entire game But you know sometimes uh, Sometimes you got to sacrifice things in the name of accuracy and uh, Being correct in the world of science and that is something I'm willing to do that is something I am willing to do. So this this nice cutscene here. Not even an option to skip it. Would have been nice. Look at that Cosmog. You, my friend, are going to get eaten by a lion at some point. Oh, one thing I did want to uh, did want to bring up. Um so uh, one problem is that Litleo does not evolve into Pyroar until level 35. But you must remember that these are not Litleos we have in our party. They may look like Litleos, but they are indeed actual lions. So I was thinking, uh, I just thought of this like right before I started recording, so I didn't have time to work out all the details. But it, it shouldn't come into play too soon. But I was thinking of looking at when lions generally become adults, full-grown lions. Like how, old, how many years that takes. And then... Uh, that's the level that they evolve, uh, and not 35. Unless it's like, n after nine years, they're adults. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out, but, uh, rest assured, my solution to this will be accurate. And it will be, uh, will be scientifically sound. So let's go save Nebby. Stop! You healed me again? Is that... 
you know what? Norman had a had a, a tiny smidgen of damage, but you know what? Just because I know, I know people are gonna bring it up. I know I'm gonna put the lions at as much of a disadvantage as I can. Uh, Norman is once again dead. This is Norman the third. Yet another lion. Um. So let's do it. Let's do it. Normally this wouldn't be a problem if people wouldn't stop. Always heal me. Huh. <sighs> All right. Norman the third. Let's uh, let's bite this thing. Yeah, we got lion versus rhino up in here. There's a real. Uh, I don't know if rhinos and lions actually mess with each other. I have no idea. But I know lions mess with Pokemon. Ha ha, I know they do. Also that flinch. Flinch again. Yo, Norman the Third is a freaking buster. Alright. Alright. Let's go eat that Nebby. Get in the bag, nah, get in my belly. Alright. Beautiful cutscene. I was considering uh, cutting out all this stuff. But, uh, you know, with science, you gotta show the entire process. You gotta document every little thing, even if it ain't interesting. I know it, most of it is not interesting. If you've ever read or had to write a lab report, most of it sucks. But you gotta document that so it can be repeated and people can verify your results. And that is what I intend to do right here. Also, I gotta get rid of that bucket hat. ASAP. ASAP, yo. Is there a way I could get a lab coat? Is there a way? That would be great. Also, I you may have noticed I literally didn't mention it. Uh, I'm Dr. Chips here. Uh, because, you know. I'm uh, kind of uh, the leading expert in Alliance vs. Pokemon at the moment. Because uh, as far as I know... Nobody's done this before, and if they have, uh, I didn't look it up, so I could have plausible deniability. Oh, this song. Yo, I just re I was about to make a joke about how I feel bad I'm gonna have to eat all of Lily's Pokemon. Oh, wait, she does battle. <laughs> she does battle in this one, but not. She did. She teams up with you. I think we might be good then. I might not have to eat Lily's Pokemon. We shall see. All right, Nebby, you got away this time, but uh, you won't be so lucky in the future. You won't be so lucky. So this episode might end up being a, a little bit longer than uh, than the rest. Not sure. Not sure. But the beginning of this game, like I said, very text heavy. So. We're just gonna... I don't even know if I set my text speed to fast. Doesn't matter. I'm mashing this this A button real hard right now. Real hard. Oh, the Kahuna's coming back. Can't wait to eat that guy's Pokemon. Gonna be great. Gonna be great. I wonder how many lines we'll have been through before we get to this guy. I'll tell you what. It won't be a billion. Honestly, I feel like this series is going to be more uh, a lesson in how big one billion truly is. Because uh, I'm going to tell you right now, we are not going to come close to a billion. Not close. Alright, alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kukui Hala doing their thing. Kukui, give me that lab coat. I'm the real scientist here, alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What am I getting? What am I... Oh, the Pokedex! That's how we're keeping track. Mm-hmm. So, like I said, anything we see, we kill. And therefore, we can keep track. What? 
Are we battling again? We literally just battled. I mean, honestly, that's fine. I would rather do battles than text. To be honest. Okay. Also, I uh, want to apologize in advance. 100% gonna call Hal Hop every single time he shows up accidentally. I might have already done it already, accidentally. Yeah, Nebby's here doing his thing. Glad to be alive for now. Oh, teleports us back. Very nice. Very nice. Look at my line. Let's eat that Meowth real quick. And then move on. Yeah, yeah. Mom, I am doing science. Are you proud of me? I'm sorry I'm going to eat the, uh, the household cat. It is... You know what? Maybe there's some respect there. Stop! I didn't even battle anyone! I battled the Rhyhorn. We got Norman the Fourth. Did Norman take any damage? I don't think so. He flinched the Rhyhorn like three times. I think we're good. Pretty sure we are good. Let's get... What? Kukui! Let me do science! Alright. Normally, I wouldn't be upset about all this talking. You know, I'm okay with it. Normally, but... Science. It's my excuse for everything. We got a nice, uh, nice sunset going on here. A nice 340 sunset. Breaking the fourth wall. Are you going to teach me how to catch a Pokemon that I will literally never do? Because I'm not allowed to, as per the rules. Alright, Kook, show me what's up. Teach me how to catch. I even randomized, so it's not even funny. Come on. That, this is another thing. Uh, sure, the, the question is 1 billion lines versus every Pokemon. Let's be real. Grubbin here ain't doing a damn thing. Rockruff ain't doing anything either. It's one billion lions versus about 20 legendaries. The rest just get slaughtered, okay? Ah, look! The pouch I will never go into. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is he gonna catch it? Oh, is he gonna? Oh, wow! Kukui! Way to go, you caught a grub. Great. We got, a little, we got a little slowdown. The game couldn't handle that grubbing. The game was like, wait, wait, wait. He caught a grubbing? What? Wow, 10 Pokeballs. I will sell those for money. That I pro Potions, I will sell that for money. That I, I don't even know what items I would be able to use. Okay, we got an encounter already. Is this like a scripted one? Don't think so. Don't think so. It'd be weird if they were like... Because I know in certain games, like in uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, even if you randomize it, your first encounter is always a Wurmple. Uh, Not so sure about this one, because it'd be weird if they were like, yes. For everybody's first encounter, it shall be a Spinda. But I will kill the spin up. I should put someone else besides Norman the Third up front. So I gotta spread that EXP. That's one thing that I feel like does make sense. Experience. You know, the more things a lion hunts, the better it gets at hunting them. So I think uh, levels and stuff, that makes sense in here. That makes sense. Work up? No, thank you. Not allowed to have that. Sure, a lion might get frustrated, might get worked up about something. It ain't gonna raise its, uh, its special attack. Oh my god. I'm literally every single time gonna forget that you have to press Y in this game. To do that. Alright, let's snag this. Fossil. Can't use that unless it turns into a lion. Got ourselves a trainer here. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do well. I should probably fight some guys first. Whoa! Just to get some more experiment experience and check some more guys off the list. There's like 700 some guys we gotta kill in this game. We only got one billion lines to do it. Currently at six. Alright, my attack fell. That is a bummer, because this isn't gonna, gonna one shot, but Lily, those three hit points will literally never come back. Yo, I just realized, uh <laughs> Lily, not intentionally named after Lily from this game. As you can see it's spelled differently. Uh I just threw it was a random name. Alright, I got one level. That should be good. Oh, I increased the trainer's levels. Might not be good then. Might not be good. She can't have everything crazy. Right? Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. Just to ensure we're seeing a lot of Pokemon. Another Spinda? What is that? Well, it was supposed to ensure we see a lot of different Pokemon, but uh, every single random trainer has got two extra Pokemon. So whatever they had, they'll have two more. And every single important trainer, so I'm pretty sure that means how, and uh, all the kahunas, stuff like that, all guaranteed to have six Pokemon. So this might be a little crazy. We might have a couple of whiteouts on our hands, but uh, you know, people seem to think that lions don't stand a chance against the Pokemon. So, I'm going to put him at that disadvantage. Just to, uh, to satiate the masses. Let's spread this experience. Let's get Leo out here, even though it makes literally no difference. No difference at all. I guess spreading the damage out. Is that good or bad? I don't know. I don't know. Let's bite you. Mm, headbutt. This might do some damage. It's not bad, actually. Not bad. Oh no. You are lowering my defense. Allow me to bite you. Mm, another thing you may have noticed that I forgot to mention. Um... The PP on all our moves is kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Uh, and that's because I maxed it out purposely. Um, because that's one thing Pokemon have to deal with that lions do not. Uh, there ain't no limit to the amount of times a lion can, uh, can scratch something. Or tackle some, Or bite some. You know? There ain't no limit. So, I just maxed out their PP and I'm assuming because I'm not allowed to heal at all or anything, um, that they'll die before that PP comes close to running out. But if not, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Alright, so I was planning on going until... Alright, I'll fight one more guy. I was planning on just going until... We... Oh... Oh, I take it back. I'm not going to fight one more guy. I'm going to end it right here. I was planning on going until we got to the Pokemon Center. I'm now realizing that's going to take a lot longer than I had thought. So I think I'll end off this first installment right here, overlooking this beautiful vista. It just imagine that whole bay filled with lions, and that is not even close to all of the lions. Just imagine that. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this episode or you're excited for this series, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and tell a friend about this, uh, about this series, because I want, I want people to watch, to see stuff in action, to bring me their, their gripes with my methods as they happen instead of after the fact, so we can, uh, amend them and ensure everyone is happy with the way we are, uh, getting these results and stuff, and everyone will know the truth! And that is that one billion lions will slaughter every single Pokemon, and I'm going to prove it to you. So you got to tune in next time to find out. There's also a bunch of other series going on on the channel this summer. 
It's going to be a good time. And I will see you then. But until then, don't forget to take it easy.